All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. And today, I'm actually going to be showing you how to fix EUP menu from crashing because I know a lot of people had have issues with EUP menu actually crashing whenever they try opening up the menu in LSPDFR. You might see, you might just say, like an LSPDFR has crashed because you had opened up the EUP menu. So, simply what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click the first link down below in the description. And you're gonna, you're gonna bring it to a site like this. Gonna be race native UI, and the, I feel like the reason. Well, I don't really feel, but I know that the reason why EUP is crashing because your rage UI, native UI, is out of date. And the way best way to fix it is by simply going down here, clicking the newest one, scroll down and click zip. And if you haven't already, make sure you do download Win WinRAR or WinZip. Easiest way to go right here and type of when raw when raw is a free scrapping program that you could use for your pc to scrap zip files right there and then you could download it and then get the start the trial version or just use it i think for like a 110 days or so and then afterwards you just uninstall reinstall or you just buy it so simply once you have to download it all you need to do is go to your downloads folder double click it and these are going to be all the files you do not need these two files so don't worry about those Go minimize that and then make sure you you know where your gta 5 directory is if you don't i will show you exactly where it's at it's going to either be on your game drive or your windows drive mine is on my windows because i have more space on my windows drive simply go to program files and then look for steam once you're in steam look for app data or no steam apps and then um, Grand Theft Auto, which is right here. I have a copy of mine here. And then whenever you're in here, you're gonna have a lot of files in here. If, especially if you play LSPD4, which this you wouldn't even be installing EUP if you didn't. So simply, what you're gonna want to do is highlight. Actually, I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see it. Or yeah, I don't think that's gonna make it bigger. So Rage, Rage Native UI. Rage native UI DLL. Get both of those the XML file and the DLL file. Simply drag them in here. You're gonna say replace, replace it, guys. And just like that, you shouldn't have any more issues with it. And if you do, simply just go back to the link that I have gave you, and then you just find the newest version. If this isn't the newest version, whenever you get to the site, but simply install that to your game, and then you should be able to run Rage Native UI and fix all the issues that you've been having with EUP menu and you shouldn't have any more crashes in LSPDFR. That being said guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and like this video because it does take a lot to make. And also I wanted to tell you guys that Warzone is right here. It's going to be coming to the channel. So stay tuned for that. Peace out.